Howdy folks, and welcome to Script of Place Minecraft. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -mm 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 -hmm. Yep, 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 that's me. We're gonna do this. We are going, quad shot, we are going to do this. I told you we're gonna do this. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that like two, three, four weeks ago. We are going to do this. All right, that out of the way. <laughs> um, What are we gonna do? We're playing on the uh, Crazy Folks Minecraft server. Uh, which has been set up just recently, about a week ago or so, and we've been messing around a little bit here. This is basically true spawn, it's like 20 steps in that direction. Set up a little community center here, uh, put in our first mineshaft going right down there, all the way to the ground. And as you can see from my HUD, we do have some mods in here. First thing you might notice, this water looks gorgeous. Ugh. We do have shaders. Let me let me give you a look here. We do have shaders installed, and I'm currently using Sildos Vibrant Shaders 1.141. There's a newer version. If I install that newer version, it looks even more awesome. The biggest issue with that, I can see the clouds. Even if I'm at Y0, I can see the clouds through every kind of block, and that just looks awful. In this version, that doesn't happen. Well, that's fine. I do have some some texture packs in here. Um, World of Keralis, the newest one, and Chroma Hills, the 128 version. I do like them. I'm not sure if I want to do this. The thing is, oh yeah, this takes ages now, <laughs> even though I didn't change anything. Good, 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 good. Um, we do have some some mods in the game. As you can see, we have not enough items. That was a definite must for me. Um, we also do have, as you can see on the top center there, Whaler. What am I looking at? With the addition of uh, Vafla, what are we looking at? That actually gives you some more information about the blocks than just that this is a stone and comes from Minecraft. Uh, depends on what you're looking at, like that light level and stuff like this. That's cool. I need that because I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> That's the next mod, Tinker's Construct. We have that in the game just to be able to make more awesome tools like self-repairing pickaxes and all that stuff. Uh, yes, you can enchant them, but you can do more stuff with that. What else do we have in here? We have... that's all Minecraft. There you go. We have Buildcraft to get all the lovely redstone engines and the piping systems. I uh, want to play around with this. It's been a while since I tried that. The last time I personally played Minecraft was before they had sticky pistons in the game. So now you figure out when that was. <laughs> A uh, lot of buildcraft, a lot of buildcraft, what else? Ender IO. Yeah, that's even more fun stuff. If you don't know the mods, look them up. I'm not gonna do it for you. I just, you know, I'm just telling you what's in here. Ender IO is really fun. Um, Tinker's Construct, definitely. Yes, that's all in here, as you can see. That's, that's all Tinker's. Yeah, that's all Tinker's. Or Tinker's. Tinker's mod is big. I like big mods. I didn't want it to do uh, too many weird things, so we've limited the amount of mods we have in here uh, to just a few. Thermal expansion, yeah, that's in there for Tinker's Construct, I believe. Uh, therm no, Thermal Foundation is for Thermal Expansion, and Thermal Extension is just cool to have. Yes, probably that's it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what else? Magical Crops. Magical Crops is awesome. I've seen that recently in Sky Factory 2.5, played by Etho. And his pals, Paws and Paws and B-Dubs, I think? No, it was Vintage Beef, right? Yeah, it was Vintage Beef, sure. Oh, my mistake. Sorry. Um, that's awesome. You, you can basically grow every type of ore. Uh, it comes with some new armor sets and everything. I want to get into that and have a look. We, we've already started just a little bit here. Oh, these shaders. Uh, please tell me if you don't like the shaders or if you want the shaders, if you want a resource pack, if you think you have better shaders. I'm definitely gonna try them since they're client side and we don't mess up the server. There are magical crops. Boop. Give me that. Uh, you. Oh, right. Well, then I just put you right there. Uh. Uh, what did we get? Essence dust and weak essence. Yeah, we'll, we need them for something. I don't know. We'll see. Put that on. You've seen me. You've seen how fancy I look. Now you see how fancy I look with armor. <laughs> so, well, a uh, lot of talk, a lot of talk, not much meaning. Um, what are we going to do? Well, first of all, this is community center. We are going to work on this a little bit. Off cam, I believe. Uh, I think over here, that's uh, the mine shaft that Boden dug down. 
uh, over here we're gonna do some some sort of a pig farm we will see that's the shaft that I dug down it goes on and on and on um hmm journey map journey map is one of the mods we have on here well we've been talking about the mini map all the time but never told you that we have it in here there awesome like it that's that <laughs> So this series, this is uh, going to be an on and off series uh, whenever I don't feel like recording one of my major series like uh, there's only two at the moment which is Ark 2 series and Hearts of Iron 4 2 series. So when, whenever something happens and I can't record those or when I just don't feel like it or when I reach the point, oh that's Shadow, interesting, when I reach the point where I just need to do something else I'm gonna hop in here and record an episode or two of uh, this stuff. Trying to make sure that I don't put them um, one after the other so that you don't have have to watch Minecraft if you're actually here for Ark or Hearts of Iron or whatever else I'm going to play in the future. But we're going to hop in here um, more or less infrequently but I think once a week will definitely be a thing. I'm also not going to be uh, the guy who gives you the biggest redstone tutorials, at least not, not at first. I mean if, if I do something like this... It usually doesn't take that long for me to actually become sort of an expert. Come on, start running. Um, hmm, we'll see. What I want to do with this series is I want to go ahead and build some sort of an Etho style man cave. So we're gonna find ourselves a nice big mountain. We're gonna go there. Oh, this looks gorgeous. And we just dig into the mountain. And we're gonna live there. And we make it better looking than this. Or we might even use lava for lightning. I don't know. We'll see. we will do some fun projects in there. And uh, we're definitely going to set up farms. You know, tree farms and wheat farms and melon farms and all the farms. We automate the shit out of everything. Sorry for my language, but that's what we're going to do. Hmm. That spawn has some weird fizzy stuff around its tag. Well, I guess that's the shaders. Alright, uh, but that's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to build ourselves our very own man cave. The script cave. Yes. Exactly. There you go. Jiraiya summer script cave. So what I'm going to do now, um, going to have a look on the map and as you can see, this <laughs> haven't really explored a lot. I've been up here and then we had nightfall and I had to come back and uh, I'm running out of food and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead. And quickly scavenge some food from, from the surrounding area and see what I can do. And then I see if I can find us a nice place to live and then I meet you right back. Alright, I've been wandering around a little. It's getting dark as you can see so we need to find some way uh, to hide. There's sheep over there. There's some cows over here. There's, that looks like a jungle. There's a lot of vines definitely. There's trees. There's mountains. Spawn is over there as you can see. It's not that far away. 460 meters. And somewhere right here. There's a cave. And I think, since we want to go underground, why not start with the cave that already exists? Hi. Yeah, hurt me. See, this is 1.7.10, so we don't have this whole charging up thing that we need to do. Which makes this pretty easy. This ore, that's copper. Thermal foundation, yeah, that's copper. We need that later. Uh, one of the things I do when I go caving is, when I go in, I place my torches on the right. Some people don't like that, some people like that very much. Uh, that just tells me, going in, torches on the right. I want to find my way out. Oh, torches on the left. No biggie. So, going this way, I see the torch on the left, so I know that's the way I came in, so that's the way out. Perfect. I get lost. Pretty fast. I mean, you can drop me physically uh, in the wilderness somewhere. Hey, creeper. And, um, you know, give me a compass and a map and tell me to just find my way, and I do that. Ah, uh, line of sight. Some things I do. Ah! Some things I know, some things I mess up. <laughs> Yay! Say, I'm a Minecraft noob. Told ya. Just got stuck on that stupid piece of gravel. Um, hmm. So yeah, I, I get lost pretty easily in games. I mean, uh, you can put me on the smallest Call of Duty map and I probably mess that up. Oh, in ore. Interesting. All right, that's it. Seems to work. Let's put on some more. I brought torches. That's not an issue. Let's just make this light up. There is one one button yet I can press to show me if things are light up enough. 
obviously I've completely forgotten which button that is and I might have to go and find out soon but for now let's just make sure there's enough light in here so that nothing weird spawns while we're in here as you can see from the minimap there's already enough happening around us so um, yeah all right so bleh, it's a good place to start as any um, let's see what are we gonna do first of all we need food we're pretty low on food and we can't regenerate health that way right all you Minecraft experts I got that right huh Oh, little things. Uh, one more over here. We need a new pick. Uh, mine broke on the way here. Right. Let's just start somewhere by holding a feather. That's a good idea. Is there anywhere in this cave where we could really say we put down our first stuff? Well, so might just put it anywhere maybe not directly at the entrance where stuff spawns and wanders in so probably somewhere over here sounds good might also just get rid of all of this I don't have a shovel right now but I mean it's just grab it right just takes a little longer when you don't have a shovel and let's see how does this look over here this extends Quite nicely, we might as well have a look and see if we can extend our little man cave already. But that looks good, yeah. This is a nice little corner if we can excavate this. Like that. Also goes down. Don't like that. Oops, shouldn't have mined that block. Should have mined this one. Alright. Well, let, let's get started, huh? Let's get started on the basics. Uh, all of that. No, not you. <laughs> you. Thank you. Also, I have to get used to all the shift click and control click and whatever you can do. Uh, I changed my keys, control to shift, and shift is control just because, you know, I don't like pressing control for running. It's just not a thing I do. Uh, like that. Oops, give me that back. And for now, well, I did bring some iron ingots, so might as well use them, huh? Uh, give me two of these. That other way. You belong somewhere over here. Uh, the rest still looks fairly decent. Do we want a shovel? Probably, huh? Just, you know, to get this going. Alright. Um, what else? Chest, probably. There. Uh, like this? Don't have enough wood for more chests. Ooh, well, we could always do that. That works. That seems good. Mm. Mm. I want this over here, but first of all, I need to get rid of all the stuff. All right, let me excavate this a little, and I meet you right back. That's a deal. Well, looks like we got ourselves a floating island up there. Might even find some slime blocks and stuff. So, for now, I'm perfectly happy with getting some water. Can I? Yeah, I can. If I do it right. Uh, three buckets. Well, two should be enough, right, to make an infinite spring. Oh, we're gonna start that. Also had some mob attacks. Of course we had. So I actually found the button that shows you um, what you, what you, where you things light you know what I mean right uh, let's block this off for now that should be good uh, I clean out this area a little bit I mined all the copper and stuff I didn't really mine all the coal yet getting to that but I did get some more iron which is quite nice and we have some more storage made sure that I have some placeholders in here so stuff goes where I wanted to go you know I'm that kind of guy uh, it's quite nice we do have some tin we do have some copper we do have some aluminum it's, it's aluminium. Get used to it. We do have wool. I uh, <laughs> harvested some sheep. As you can see. <laughs> um, got some saplings. So we can actually start on a tree farm. I mean, that's one of the first things I really want to do. Get a tree farm running. And then we do need a regular farm, right? We do need food. Sustainable food. So that's one of the things we're going to do first. I'm not quite sure yet what to do with this cave. I'm going to explore it, sure. And probably most of the stuff I'm just going to block off. We're going to find a way. I mean, that's where we come in. 
and I like that it curves a little bit. But from there on out, probably right through here, we're just gonna have a straight path. I like this height. That's what, one, two, three, four, five blocks high. So we're gonna make it like seven blocks wide. That seems like a good ratio. Uh, definitely gonna put down some floor, like that. <laughs> Not sure yet what's gonna be. I'm gonna fiddle around a little with that, see what a guy can come up with. First of all, I think we need a bed. You go over here. Here, right? Yeah, there's a bed. Thank you very much. Give me all of that. Um, I could have put that right here. That would have helped. Let's just put it down there for now. Ah. So nice. So nice. You know, you don't have to wait through the night and all of that. I like it. Um, hmm, infinite spring. Probably want to have it close to here for now. So why don't we just put that right down here? Let's do away with those. We don't need all that cobble. We can get cobble relatively easily, right? That one. Put that here. And there's our infinite spring. There. Only accessible through that one block. So if we don't mess up. We can grab our water from here. That should be fine. All right. Um, hmm. Let me fiddle around with this a little. Let me excavate a little more. And we'll see what we can do. All right. So I've started decorating a little bit. Uh, that's a skeleton outside. It's bugging me a little bit because it's making noise. Other than that, put a door in so that we can get in and out without uh, those critters coming in all the time. I've let some uh, dirt all the way down here so that it's connected. We should have some grass growing down here. I mean, probably j just could get a silk touch pick, shovel, shovel? Yeah, shovel. And um, just mine the grass blocks and get them down here. But this is one way to make it grow naturally, right? Um, if we put one or two in here a little later, then this will speed up the process. I do want to have grass right in the middle here, like five wide. That would be nice. And we have uh, oak wood planks going all the way along uh, as a frame-in type of deal. And then we have these uh, pillars. Not yet quite certain about these pillars. I mean, they look good. If you, if you look at this arch, that looks good. I'm not so sure what to do about this part. I mean, probably I'm going to exchange that wood into real oak wood. Some dark type of wood to use this as uh, wooden beams going along the top. Most of the cave will have just, you know, stone walls because that's what, what you naturally find here in the cave. And uh, you can just, you know, dig it out, put it in the, the furnace and then put it back in. Hmm. I think that's what it's going to be. I've um, positioned these in a way that we will have a light source right here, one block down, and then probably a leaf block on top to hide it a little bit. You know, you need some sort of transparent block, and the leaf block here, I think, would make this look quite nice. Uh, light level of a glowstone lamp is 15, so up here will be 14, same as the torch is right now, as you can see there. So over here it's 11, and then it will not go further down than 8 right here. And then it will go back up. And we have an uh, odd number of blocks in between these pillars so that we can put a door in, you know, three by three or something. And it would fit, otherwise it would be one block off to the left and right. We could have made it an even number because, as you can see, that's nine, that's nine, that's eight. We could have had another eight over here. I don't think that's going to work the way I want it to. Also, that means right here in the middle... Uh, we could take out one of these blocks and put a glowstone lamp in there or have a little chandelier or something coming down and light this up a little more. I think that's a good idea. We don't have to worry about measuring the distance uh, for the light from up top there. We can just go from here, which makes it way easier. Light in Minecraft has always been a little buggy. And I do realize this is not much, but it's coming along quite nicely, I think. We might even exchange these later into brick. We need something that gives us stairs, right? Let's see. Uh, there. That's not really that much. Wood is really out of the question. We could use quartz. We would need a crap ton of quartz for that. Which we need to go into the nether and all of that. There's not that much. And I don't really know if you can make a farm for that. For stone, it's quite easy. You just do a cobblestone generator and you know, feed it into a furnace. 
and then you just craft your stairs. That that's easy to do. That's a renewable resource, if you wish. Brick is as easy. Yeah, you just you know smelt up clay. Can we get clay easily? Well, as soon as we have the the, the essence thing set up, the the magic crops. It says it right there, I just need to read it. <laughs> uh, essence of earth and essence of water makes clay. So as soon as we got that going, that would be a renewable resource. I think, can we do this here as well? A lot of quartz, nether quartz. Look at that, essence of nether. Five of them gives us eight nether quartz. You can do tons of stuff with that. So yeah, that, that might also be a thing. It's just, I think the white might be just way too bright for this. We need some sort of a moody atmosphere in here. This is obviously going to move. Uh, I move the, the water source over there and just to have a little room in here. I do like the sound when you walk on the dirt and obviously when you walk on the grass it's even even better. It makes you feel good. We want some green in here. want this cave to look good. And then we can still use some decorative items like fence posts and, and everything in here. I want to get rid of all the torches eventually. So we do need some glowstone lamps and then just bury them in here so that there will be two lamps, one on each side of the pillar. That should be more than enough. We'll see. Alright, this is going to be some, some sort of a shorter episode. We just get started and I do need to do a ton of harvesting and farming. I mean, you can see my tools down there in the hotbar. Uh, that's all the tools we had. <laughs> I do have another axe. That's it. Stone. Um, yeah, didn't really find that much resources yet. We do have some more ingots. Some of them I used to, you know, repair my tools. Uh, we have some seeds that we're gonna plant outside. Oh, light. Mm. Need to see what we can do there. I think we can do some some melon farms or something like that in here where we don't need the natural sunlight. We'll see. We'll see. This is going to be fun. I, I have a feeling this is going to be fun. We're going to excavate over there a little bit more. We're going to excavate over there a little bit more. I think this one of these is going to be our main mine shaft for now. And then we're just, you know, going to wall it off and do something else. What I do want to do is I do want to have this path winding up there so that when you come down here, you have this really, really long path going all the way over there. Hopefully we can do that. We might need to go a little further down. And then branching off to the left and right, we will have our main rooms. And this will eventually lead to a fairly large room where we put down our nether portal. And from there, it branches off uh, in all four directions. And then we'll see what else we need. So we might have like um, a little starter setup over here and then just put some glass in front of it so that we can uh, preserve that for the future when we come back in here and say in 100 episodes, oh, look, that's where we started. That's so cute. <laughs> And we might just as well have our first farm here, and then we have one, uh, well, pillar to pillar section uh, where we don't have anything because that's where we hide all the rats, so, you know, stuff like that. So we're going to work with symmetry a lot, and we're going to work with decorating stuff a lot. And if you have good ideas on how to do this, if you have made a tutorial even or something that I should definitely watch, if you have more experience than I do, which you definitely do if you've started Minecraft and played for 10 minutes, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much that that sums it up then you know leave a comment that's it for today folks if you like the video like the video subscribe for more leave a comment if you feel like it don't forget to enjoy yourselves see you soon